What's up guys? We are heading out to a little friendly steel competition Tuesday night steel over at Southern Utah's practical shooting range. So this should be really fun. Tag along and we'll see if we can hit anything. So I'm just going to show you stage by stage. There's five stages in this little competition here um, and I shot all five stages and Jen was able to shoot the last one which was really cool. She didn't have any of her gear at all so she borrowed mine. The range officer was um, really really nice in letting her letting her shoot that last stage. So we'll just go through it stage by stage. I was definitely super shaky at the beginning. It's been a while since I've shot steel and uh, so yeah here it is. Hopefully you enjoy. Are you ready? Stand by. Are you ready? Stand by. walk in the course because there's different ways you can shoot. You can go left to right, right to left, you can make up whichever way you want to go, whatever feels most comfortable. Um, so you can run it a few times before you actually do it. And go time. Letting Jen try this stage here. So. It's cool. Yeah. Are you ready? Stand by. Oh, uh, no. Yep. 
Hit. 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 Your mag's not seated. One more. Good. Okay. There you go. Finger on the side. Okay, if you're finished, unload your clear. Just got finished shooting. All five stages. Jen got to shoot one. That was fun. <laughs> what did you think? I want to shoot. <laughs> uh, I want to get into it. It's fun. She now understands a little bit of why I enjoy this sport so much, I think. She's always like shooting, but this is a different animal entirely. Uh -huh. There's different adrenaline, a different pressure. I mean, just look at this. Ah, so good. It's a beautiful evening. Uh, perfect evening for shooting. Sun's right in the eyes on these uh, on these ranges. So we're just leaving. The place is pretty cool. I don't want to tell Kai this out there because they're cops, but it's kind of scary. One of the cops sucked. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you're like in a small town in Utah. They're not used to shooting. Um, Kai, I don't know if you heard this. You totally beat that one cop. Which is cool. Yeah. Pretty awesome. The dude let me shoot. It was awesome. He was like, you want to shoot? I was like, uh, duh. Sure. <laughs> it's like, his canic's a little big for my hand, but I'll make it work. Uh, right when the beep happened, I like loaded and went up for my first shot. The two targets like blurred together. I was like excited and all sorts of things. But once I got that, I hit a high percentage first shot. I missed two or three, but super cool. I get it, babe, I get it. Yeah. I get it, I get it. <laughs> She's got the bug now. I get it. Whoa. You had a little fumble on your reload. I did. I didn't the magazine the whole way. She didn't seat the magazine all the way, and first she guided the magazine out instead of just letting it fall and grabbing her second magazine. It's not my stuff. And then... She didn't seat it all the way, and she racked the action, so she racked the racked the round out. Next time. All things that are easily solvable with a little bit of practice and a lot more coming to this place. See these guns? Get ready. Yeah, so again, this is just a little uh, weekly steel match here at our local range. This is the Southern Utah Practical Shooting Range. It's it's an awesome little range. Uh, they do Tuesday Night Steel, which is what we just competed in or just did. Um, and then they do USPSA competitions pretty regularly. I really enjoy it. I haven't done any of the larger competitions or the more like importantly scored competitions or whatnot. But it's really fun going to Tuesday Night Steel because it's a completely no pressure type of environment all the pressure that you have on you is like self-induced so yeah it's all in your <laughs> noggin it's all self-induced it's there's no pressure from anybody else everybody there is just you know they're willing to share some of the the shooting knowledge and um, experience that they have with you it's just a really friendly environment there's a lot of people from a lot of different backgrounds shooting there which is really cool because you get you know everything from there was these there's these little kids and man there's like they're like 12 years old these little girls and they can outshoot most everybody there it's great and then you got like you know people my age you got police officers you got you know grandparents like all kinds of different people shooting for a lot of different reasons but really just like camaraderie and uh, and improving themselves all right guys we are just gonna close this video out right now but uh, really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video do me a favor hit that subscribe link that's right upstairs or check out some of our other videos right over here take care of yourselves everybody make it a great day peace out peace Wait this you want to wear these while you drive again? They're black out of glasses. Ah, oh. Got to get some kind of use out of these stupid glasses since yesterday was so overcast we couldn't even see anything. I think they're fashionable.